cool. Damn, that's a cool intro. Very like kind of like PlayStation 2 era vibe. But this game is kind of a PlayStation 2 era game, which is a good thing. Reminds me like I said that a lot about Ghost of Tsushima as well. Um This game might be a little mark above PS2 in terms of difficulty and gameplay complexity though. Holy moly, does this game have a lot of buttons? Fuck. It's got combos on combos. Uh I don't know. It's it's great though. And God bless. God bless Team Ninja for putting some games on the board. This is your first time trying it? No. I played Neo 1 and I played a demo for Neo 2. I finished the demo for Neo 2 and it was pain. Fuck me. The boss fight at the end of the Neo 2 demo was... That was something else, man. <laughs> I haven't done anything that hard in a while. Like, this this game actually does hit kind of the speed and gameplay complexity of something like Doom Eternal. Uh, with all the, like, stance changes and and style changes and, like, weapon forms you can move through. The And, like, the fact that you can... You have to do all that stuff on the fly in a combat encounter with multiple people. And then you have to be aware of, sp like, space, too, because of, like, the corrupted ground and the purification t uh, mechanics. It's... It is crazy. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden devs making hard games. This game is a step above Ninja Gaiden, actually. Ninja Gaiden is like the Bloodborne to Neo's Dark Souls, except... Like, Dark Souls doesn't even have the combat complexity of something like Sekiro or Bloodborne, so it, it's kind of the two smashed together, which is really, really cool. This is harder than the first Neo. Um, the demo was. Yeah, the demo was. Uh, I don't know about the... If they've tweaked anything for the final build, or maybe the demo was at, like, a harder spot in the game. But, uh... Neo 1 was still pretty bad. But it had that Dark Souls sort of sensibility where... Once you figured a boss out, or you just happened to be using the right weapon, or the right form, like... It was possible to luck through a couple of bosses in Neo 1, I feel like. Like, sometimes you just got a lucky draw with your character build in, in Souls, and you could just sort of, like, get a boss on the second or third try. Um, Ninja Gaiden's like Dark Souls 1 in terms of BS. Yeah. Or, wait. I mean, yeah. I, I think that's fair, too. Ninja Gaiden had some brutally hard difficulty walls that were a lot less difficult if you just knew, like, the trick. Neo 2 seems... I I mean, it does feel a bit more like Doom Eternal, where... All of its mechanics are dialed in pretty well, and it has very high expectations of you, the player. And you better use them. <laughs> if you want to just, like, use the same attack button and the same weapon through the whole game, it's just not going to work. You just don't have the kit to do that. Also, the, uh, the intro implied that, like, this has a big... A custom character aspect, and then I guess you go online. Yeah. Uh, of course, we are absolutely not playing as a gross, smelly man. Get that shit out of here. This is Weeaboo Wednesday, goddammit. Well, you are so good at difficult games, this should be easy for you. It will! It will be very easy for me. Being a professional gamer. Oh, I can... Oh, it's just widening. Wait, I, I can't see? She's a relaxed. She's definitely a relaxed type. God, the heterochromia is already there. Beautiful. Time for anime! Hey! Loving it. Oops. Oh boy, please don't tell me that reset everything. Okay, good. Oh, this is so ridiculous! <sighs> game makers have to put this whole engine in their game to customize every little, like... Every little key point of, of a polygon mesh. And you never see it! Um, maybe at the character select. Ah. Oh. Ah, da I, I kind of like that. Some lines or something. Like, this is like, baby, never done anything. This is, I know exactly how to, how to annihilate your dick. 
We'll, we'll split the difference. We'll go right in the middle. Oh boy. Got customized dim brows. Well, that's not bad. I do kind of like the. I like the scarring. I think I might go with that. A little bit of edge in there. Been through some shit. Just the two creepy dots? Yeah, I like that. Did not see the CBT art coming in this anime? Most people don't. That's the point, though. You never see it coming. Speaking of, I am cautiously optimistic for Strikers, Persona 5 Strikers, but um, it seems like the reviews are going as usual, which is that a lot of a lot of reviews give it really high scores, but then the review outlets that I trust more are giving it more middling scores because it probably is sort of anime trash. As usual, I feel like uh, I, I feel like anime gets a pass from a lot of people. Yeah, let's get those caterpillars. Actually, let me let me thin them out a little bit. Oh, there we go. I'm actually kind of okay with with the eyes. I'm okay with most of this, actually. But I also don't want my character to just look like a... <sighs> to be an obvious, like, preset. So I gotta mix it up a little bit. It's gonna be difficult, though. Can you list those outlets you prefer? I mean, mostly, uh, PC Gamer and Eurogamer are, like, the two that I read from who's, who's like, reviewing staff is usually pretty on point uh, in terms of, like, pretty accurately sizing up what a game is is like can can sort of i think separate me the writer likes this from me the writer appraising it as a good or a bad game um so i what i feel like is all a lot of reviews i've read from other outlets that reviewed persona 5 they picked the person who likes persona and you can kind of feel it in the review of like yay it's more persona and i'm like okay that's fine but is it a good game um Oh, that's neat. I like the I like the asymmetric eyes, though. Damn, it's all such a good idea, but again, it's just I gotta display a little more individuality. <sighs> but I can't. I can't. Like, how do I how do I improve on perfection? More objective. Yeah, I mean that's always my honestly that's my kind of chosen reviewing style too. My, um, and I need to get back into it so I stop waxing so philosophic and actually do something about it. Damn it, I fucked it up. I fucked it all up. Why did I do that? Um, so, I could, I could talk a lot more mess if I actually were more, a little more active in publishing reviews on YouTube, but man, they're time consuming, so I guess I should, I should stop talking shit. I wanted to kind of like inverse the the heart tattoo a little bit. I thought Strikers was going to be a fairly typical Musou game, but it's just not really like that, is it? It doesn't. Well, it seems like it's got a little flavor to it, but it does seem like at its core, it still is a Musou game. So you're still going to like, you know, still going to run around and beat a, put a ton of things up. Oh, it's probably under it's probably under makeup. I bet. Man, the freckles are too good. Man, I kind of hope that uh, you can unlock more accessories and stuff. <sighs> I just can't. I just can't. It's too good already. There's... there's n it just absolutely doesn't get better than it already is. Maybe... <laughs> maybe like that. God. The fucking... Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's like an obvious anime wig, but... Alright, never mind. I, ooh, well... Hmm. I'm getting there. What's up, Force? Force Falcon, hello, hello. 
I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Man, all this hair is all right. This hair is all right. Oh. Well, maybe we can get a little individual. Oh, a side ponytail! I don't know that there's going to be any beat in the side ponytail. Oh, and you have individual bang options. Oh my gosh. Finally, the bang customization we've been waiting for. This is great. Oh, oh, oh. I want the, I want the hair drapes. The center part is coming back, I'm sorry to say. Um, I have a friend who was a high school teacher. And she can keep me appraised on what's hip. And unfortunately, a lot of Y2K fashion is starting to come back. I've, I've been waiting for it. Dreading it, I guess more like. But uh, yeah, apparently the, the Y2K center part is roaring back. So dark days ahead, everyone. Stock up on your, your beans and rice. Get that, get that prepper bunker prepped. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, let's get a little, let's get a little, let's get a little curling iron on that. Actually, I really like this. I really like this color setup. All right, okay. Bowl cuts for all. Yeah, they actually look good, not just tacked on bangs. Yeah, I like it. Uh, I, I have to take some of my my flippant nature about the character creator back because they are pushing. They are pushing new boundaries. Yeah. I gotta admit, it is. it has been interesting to live through... Like, character creators, it used to be a laugh. Like, it used to be, huh, silly. It used to be wacky if, if, uh, if they removed, like, gender locks so you could put beards on ladies and stuff. Like, that was the purview of Saints Row, right? Like, oh, what a, what a crazy character I made. I just put everything on... But now it's like, no, that's a real thing. Why not? Some people take that shit serious. Why not? Doesn't have doesn't have to be for uh doesn't have to be for comedic effect. Or rather, it's no longer for comedic effect. Yeah, we're gonna need a, we're gonna need maximum lash. I'm not sure about the 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 green here. I feel like a darker shade, that's kind of nice. I guess that's more opaque. I want that gloss though. Need that sugared lip again, Y2K Fash, coming back. We want to be sparkling. I want my, my lips to be crusty. If somebody cuts me, they better, or if somebody kisses me, it better cut their lips up. Board of Balance, thank you for the sub. It's samurai time, exactly. I just want to put two heads on one character, and someday. Where was the hype in news articles for these closed caption options? This looks great. All oh, the closed captioning? Yeah, lip shrapnel, exactly. I need, I need hot pink teeth. There we go. That'll do. Oh, is this, this is how I get my ghostly pallor? Jesus. Actually, you know what? I kind of like it without. Or do I? Hmm, nah, we'll just leave it off. Yeah, it should be tiny. Tiny head. Although, wait, anime girls have huge heads. What am I talking about? Just unbelievably pale? I mean, yeah, that would kind of fit the aesthetic, wouldn't it? A, uh, a wisp of a geisha? Although these freckles and this blonde hair, that's not working. Ah, uh, so thin. Holy shit. Now we're doing it. Oh goodness, come on. I mean, it is a Team Ninja game after all. Yeah. I don't want... 
I gotta be real. I don't want to do it, but it's Weeaboo Wednesday, so... It is what it is. <laughs> rules are rules. Yeah, you're gonna throw off her stance? <laughs> they could have made them bigger? I suppose they could have. We are still dealing with uh, the shadow of... <laughs> or Itagaki's ghost is around somewhere. I got Hanafuda tattoos? That's awesome. Oh, look at the little guys. Hmm. She may actually be a little, just a teensy bit too shredded. I might have to dial that back a little bit. Um. I'm assuming you can, you can place it? Oh, no? Huh. Oh, position. There we go. No. Hmm. There was one, there was one that looked nice. What, uh, which one was I thinking? I mean, that one's fun. I like the little, the little kappas. They're little, like, tofu soup bowls. Yeah, the frog. I like frog. He seems like a good frog. Tall frog. <laughs> Why can frog be so big? Frog. I don't want to scroll that stick off, but it's like on her collarbone. It's so close. Okay, I think we got it. Frog. Frog going the back. No one's ever going to see that. It'll just be a... Yeah, now that's a Japanese tattoo. It'll be a... Uh, it'll be a visitate... It's like a bad trip to Vegas. It's got a full body or a full back... A uh, frog tattoo. That if the option has a square on the right, you can press it for extra options. A square on the right. Square on the right. Okay. I will keep an eye out for right squares. Yeah, full shiny frog. I mean, the frog's in water. He ought to be shiny, you know? Cool. Uh, I kind of want to put like, let me try this. Let me see how this plays. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Uh, let me try this. What happens if you make a, a like a claw mark? Oh, you can't make a claw mark shiny. Okay. All right. Fine. You win this round, Neo Two. I think I was just completely gone. Hmm. <laughs> 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 All right. She's real throaty. Don't don't take that for what other the, everything anything other than it was meant. Um, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> Phantom sounds cool. Oh, damn! Oh, you get to customize them. Got it. Okay, I didn't know. I, I'm not picking. Goodness. That yokai form really lifts and separates, doesn't it? Cool! Holy shit! Oh, I get to customize my demon horn! Yeah, we'll go with the one big one. You can customize your demon hair? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's sick. Oh, shit! 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 My demon hair! Customize your demon hair color? Demon hair curliness? Yeah, I get a, I get a perm when I go demon. Oh my god. I gotta make all my demon hair permed now. There we go. <laughs> damn. God damn. Oh, 
There we go. Okay. <sighs> that looks good to me. Now I'm going to have to pick a name? Maybe? I haven't been thinking about that at all. Maybe there is no name. Maybe it's just character. Life hack: turn into your demon form to save at the salon. Exactly. Who needs a crimping iron? Okay. Surely this is not a tutorial slash scripted death area. Oh, Emrita memories. I'm guessing those are. This is the lore. Oh, never mind. It's tutorials. Got it. Okay. This is a fishing spot? Oh. Alright, well that's pretty clever. I like that. It's like oil. Oil and water is kind of the overlay for an interactable space. It's a neat visual look. There's one thick girl. I mean, she's pretty thick now because she's wearing, like, thick clothing, but... She's, she's just blessed. Alright, yeah, I remember this. Have to choose a weapon. Jeez. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I did the Tonfas in... Uh... Switch Glaive. Or I think I did Dual Swords, actually. I have no clue what kind of build I want to go for. Man. Fists are really fun. Yeah, maybe I should... I should go with fists. I'll try it out. I don't know that I've done, uh... I don't know that I've done, uh... Fists and Neo before. Ooh. Little Bruce Lee maneuvers there. I like that. Alright, I'll play with this. Punch Girl? Hell yeah. Fist came with a DLC. I like it. Oh, Naruto Run 2! It's perfect! Ha! Oh, the most efficient way to run. Yeah, and also Tifa. Tifa used fists. Everything's great. This is the correct choice. I feel very comfortable and confident in that now. Uh, oh yeah, you have to pick, like, multiple weapons, right? Well, I'm gonna... Fists are close range, so I'll take something long range to kind of complement it, which I assume would be spear. Oh yeah, and then you gotta... Two weapons, three stances. Uh, well, I guess I guess this would put me down the path of just being like a strength, constitution, beat everybody up kind of character. Scythe, easy clap. You get two if you play enough, you can learn them all. Yeah, I figured you started. Started with two. Let's go. It's all fine, it's fine. And then, yeah, let's see here. I can't remember. I think I did shark, because sharks are cool. But... Heart? Screw that. Sure. Why not? I'm just going to dedicate it. Have you played Neo 2 before? I played the demo. And I finished the demo. Uh, and I played Neo 1 a little bit more. I did like the first couple of dungeons and or level things in Neo 1. But I did not finish Neo 1. And I did not finish Neo 2 on PlayStation. 
There's a lot of choosing before you're allowed to play any of the game. Eh, I mean, you, how else do you do it? It's the Dark Souls way, you know? You make a character, you pick your starting weapon kind of thing. I guess you don't really pick a starting weapon in, uh, in Dark Souls. Cool. Okay, well. Hey, what's up, a rose? Where'd you get being hair dye in feudal Japan? I am possessed by a spirit that has dyed my hair. You acquired a divine branch fragment. If you use one during a mission, you can quit the mission and return to the map. Yeah, it's like the homeward bone. Oh, wait. Uh, I can't remember what this does. Oh, uh, that's right. Cool. The Tale of Neo. Ah, I see. You can remodel the hut? Oh. Huh. Cool. Uh, all right. It's time to get my ass kicked. Uh, but I gotta use I gotta use the restroom real quick. I don't want to get the the piss bitten out beaten out of me. So I'm gonna choose when I piss my pants. I'll be right back. See you guys in just a second. Dun, 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 dun. I wish Capcom made a 3D Mega Man like Ratchet and Clank. Um, they tried. Mega Man X7 was was kind of trying to be that, and it was bad. And then yeah, there's Mega Man Legends, which I haven't I still haven't played. So I, I didn't want to, like, suggest that, but... Uh, you pissed yourself quick? The bathroom's right there. Uh, it can be pretty fast when... Oh, I forgot to turn on this background lighting here. It can be pretty fast. Usually uh, usually when I take a break, I, like, I walk around a bit, I stretch, I talk to Steph. But sometimes I don't. Sometimes I come back quickly, because you guys are worth it. Um, Let's go with this. This feels... This feels right today. I think I hit the wrong button. I did. That's the wrong room. Whoops. Alright, hold on. There we go. Alright, I wait under the nighttime cherry blossoms for the hero that will set our village free from those horrors that plague us. It seems that this message is from someone that's heard whispers of my work slaying yokai. There are no hints as to who sent it, but it appears to have come from a village called Jusan Sakura. If there are really yokai there, then it might be worth heading that way to take a look. So I'm just some random yokai slayer? Fair. The maelstrom of war knows no bounds, and even Jusan, uh, Jusan Sakura, a village once prosperous due to its abundant supply of post horses and work cattle, cannot escape the chaos. Before long, it was reduced to little more than a ghost town. Now only yokai wander the deserted, ruined village. The springtime cherry blossoms once enjoyed by the lively villagers as they went about their daily business now bloom among the deafening silence of the long departed. What kind of VTuber would you be if you made a debut? You mean like Persona or... or... or like... What would I look like? I guess they're connected, but... I'd probably be a little cyber hacker man, you know? That fits... that fits my cultivated image. Alright. The only Neo 2 zero hit run in existence begins now. Man, praise God for like games that are very explicit about the stat system and what everything does.
Resistance to water. Activate the special effects of heavy armor. That's weird that heavy armor would be linked to, like, fists. Weight equipment goes up. Yeah. I guess if you're really beefy, you can wear heavy stuff and still flip-flop around. Need more cyberpunk. What, like, the... In general, or, or me streaming the game? I mean, you should have a dog. I'm not going to lie about that. That one's on you, though. Okay. Active skills. Are you... Fr <sighs> Holy fuck. Games where you can, like, customize the flow of attacks. I mean, that basically turns it into a light fighting game. When you have to start thinking about, like, frame data and recovery and what, what moves can chain into which other moves. Oh my god. Uh, Alright. Alright, let's not look at that screen for a while. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Let's, uh... Ugh, oh, okay. Alright. I got a rock. I've equipped a rock. The game's going very well. Oh, that's a shortcut door. Alright. Just focus on the fist bit of that screen, yeah. <laughs> this game, I feel like it can be easy to be overwhelmed. But that's what happens when you play a goddamn video game meant for real goddamn video gamesmen's and women's. There's gotta be, is there a prompt for a stealth attack or do you just do it? Huh. It's gonna be interesting because I'm gonna have to like... I'm gonna have to be able to see enemy attack animations through myself. And if I'm twirling like crazy and sparkles are flying out of my hands, that might make it very difficult to see enemy attack patterns through that. That visual noise. That's why ranged, ranged weapons can sometimes be easier. If you have a spear and you're just like, bop, 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 and then the enemy is far enough away that there's no visual overlap. Whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it done, because that's how we do it. So, Sekiro, I, yeah. Sekiro was, was smart, though, because it knew no matter what you were going to be in melee range. So the camera angle would, like, pitch down a bit. And then they used a lot of, like, audio callouts and, and visual effects to sort of telegraph the... Alright, so I guess this is the thing that's supposed to kill me. <laughs> like, right away. Whatever, it's a no-hit run. Do you think he knows that yet? Christ, it's so big! I can see this game being really difficult as pure melee. Well, let's find out! Zero hit run. Oh! I'm just gonna duck that guy for now. We'll come back later. You didn't tell him! What do you mean you didn't tell him? I told you guys to send an email to all the enemies of Neo 2 that I was gonna do a no hit run today. And you're telling me that he doesn't know? I thought he was coming up here. You forgot! You forgot? Oh. Well, maybe I'll just forget to play video games all day. How about that? Ooh, for forgetting things. Ooh, I'm so forgetful. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Is there like a... There's a dodge, right? Okay. Alright. No hit run! Slack was down? Then just... Then print it out or fax it or something! Can, am I the only one trying to beat video games here? Is it just me? I don't get to see my cool hat or hair anymore. I know that you can turn you can turn hats off, so I don't want to do that for now because I like the physics, the wiggle physics on the back.
can transmog your equipment? Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So if I want to keep the floppy hat forever, I can do it. Uh, Sergeant Suka, thanks for the prime. And also Lee and his lemon, thanks for the prime. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm already getting different, different. Oh, that's a lot more attack though. even look at the other attack here. That's some big kicks there. God, that's awesome. Axe kicks are the coolest. They're typically never useful in a practical situation. Anytime you could axe kick somebody, you could just stomp on them or something. Or like, if you want to like, I don't know. It looks flashy as hell and it's a fun way to, to like end a fight sequence, but... Yeah, <laughs> I love I love that whole the whole art of like martial arts moves that in basically a hundred percent of the situation would never be a practical move to use. But it still looks cool as hell. Yeah, it's a max flex moment for sure. Basically, you you get to air out your genitalia for a second before utterly destroying somebody. Oh, this game got a sequel. Yeah. Uh, it came out, the sequel came out on PlayStation a while ago, so the, the complete edition, which includes DLC, is now out on PC, which means it's a real video game that I can play. Oh yeah, I, I kind of forgot that this game has like, like Nyon, uh, Nyo has Nyon Borderlands level, like, loot drops and swaps and stuff. Oh, no hit. Oh, oh, no. Fuck. I didn't know they could do that. Oh, he's big now. Shit, 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 shit. I don't think. Okay. Okay. <laughs> shit, man. That doesn't wear off, does it? See, like, he's not getting stunned anymore, but I don't... What the fuck is that? Oh! Why is there... Where did you come from? What the fuck, man? Alright. That was fast. You got your cape? You look like a weird cultist. <laughs> it's fuzzy. I'm glad that you like it. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I'm getting things. I mean, no one can see it, so I can't really react to it. Steph has a cape. Oh my god, stop. I didn't mean to click on that. I did, though. Uh, it's a practice run. Yeah, it doesn't count. Sizan, thanks for the sub. Oh, now I get to see all the, all the dead people. Chat can't see, therefore streamer can't see. Exactly. See, like, if they get perma-stunned, it's easy. that Naruto run get my my blessing now and I beat somebody up I 
Hey, what's up, Luke Bucks? Welcome. I'm beating up. I'm beating up enemies. That was cool. So that was kind of like a finisher. Because there's like. The enemies can get flattened out on the ground, basically, and then it looks like there's a special prompt or, like, the lock-on indicator changes. So it does seem like they're trying to telegraph that you can do a little finishing attack. It seems like overhead attacks, or, like, maybe you do a low attack to knock down and then a, a high attack as a, as a ground finisher. I'll test that out. Is there another demon man's up here? Yeah. Oh, I can unlock this door. Maybe? I don't know, I'll figure it out. What the fuck is up? What's up, High King Alric? Uh, this game looks sick? It is. It's it's basically a, a faster, arcadier Dark Souls, Demon Souls. So it's got the kind of open world level design from Souls, but definitely has the speed and intensity of uh, Ninja Gaiden combat. So that knocks him down. Okay. Um, it might just be strong attack, but that was a strong overhead that did a, a finisher. High attack is on Tuesday? Ha! Yeah, it is. Hmm, hold on. I want to clean out this other house, though. I can't remember if there was an item. Oh, wait a minute. Did I get turned around? Oh, I think I did. I think that was the house I was going to anyway. Yeah, here we go. That's really nice too, because you kill them quickly so they can't get absorbed. Whoop. Okay, that's kinda that's kinda cool. So yeah, okay, so that's a good way to close distance. Yeah, the, okay, so the strong overhead is... It's like a good initiator. Oh, okay, alright, 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 I'm figuring it out. What's up, Andrew Macca? Hey, it's good to see you again. Yeah. Welcome back. Is that me? No, it's not. Why would I ever die there? Stupid. I'm better than that. Oh, this is just the back path. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it it almost... I swear, like, when I played the original Neo and I got, like, a weapon, I feel like you had to learn timing, you had to learn spacing, you had to learn startup, you had to learn recovery. It really did feel like whenever I got a weapon in Neo, I was like, shit, man, I have to learn, like, a fighting game character. I have to learn the, the kit. I have to learn the move sets. I have to learn all the pokes. Which is awesome. Um, there's been some some choice experiments with like trying to combine. Uh, ah! Okay. That's what that is. Well, I guess I'm gonna die. Oh! No! Oh! Ah! Okay. I was like, I could see that... I could see that its stamina was gone, or it had like a cut down stamina bar, so I thought I could go in on it, but then I ran out of stamina and I needed to back up. It's a lot to keep track of. I feel like sometimes in games like this... Um... One of the things I did really, I do really, really, really like about Doom Eternal is that like... Everything you need to know has an audio cue. And, uh, I feel like it would be nice if there was an audio feedback that your stamina's running low. So then you know how to, you know how to back out of a combo. Because, yeah, you know what, man, um, key management is, is everything about the, like, even more than stamina management in something like Souls. Um, 
it kind of is the whole game. Balancing your key versus your offense and... So yeah, I kind of wish that there would be like a ping, or a thwom, or s maybe there is one, and I just gotta tune my ears to hear it. Uh, a lot of Square games have been coming to Game Pass lately, Weeb Paradise? Yeah. Okay, so it, it you can be in any stance, it's just strong attack to a downed opponent. Uh, that's good to know. Now I have to figure out what knocks enemies down. Okay, I think I can beat this guy. I also don't... Is there a punishment for dying? Oh, you lose... You lose Amrita, right? Which is... Yeah. Ow. So, like, what's the... There's like another red bar. I don't remember exactly how the stamina system works in this game. Die twice without getting to your grave, lose Amrita. Huh. So, same old system. There's a way that you can like... You can like stack negative meter into an enemy's stamina so they can't recharge as much. So like the... There's that full purple bar under the health bar. There's a way to like cut, whittle that down or bite into it, I thought. bring a sword. <laughs> I guess I have a spear, but I'm I'm just trying to learn the fist now, so I'm I'm dinking around trying to learn the ropes. When it's when Oh, I guess it's when they run out of stamina. They fall down. So it is kind of almost like a uh like a Sekiro system. If you break their stamina, then you get an opportunity for a bunch of free damage. Oh, what do you wear to an interview, Hi, King Ulrich? Um, I mean, so wait, what is it for? It's for an emergency room nurse job. Yeah, absolutely tuxedo. Introduce yourself as Dr. Badass. And the, the, the first thing you should be is, Hi, I'm Dr. Badass. The second thing you should say is, I'm going to have your job in two days. Oh, okay. See, like, oh, you have to... Oh, okay. Okay, so... Clearing the pulse. Wait, no? Oh, shit. What caused it to have, like, a big... A big portion of its stamina meter blocked before? Because, yeah, like, it, it was cut down to, like, 15% of its original stamina before, and I don't... I don't know... I swear to God, I knew what I knew how to do that once, or I knew the mechanical implications of that. But I don't remember it now. He broke his horn slash crystal. Clearing those yukai poles helps fuck with their key regen. Okay. How did I break the horn slash crystal? Did I just do the right attack at the right time kind of thing? Also does... Is it the sort of thing where, like, strong attacks do more stamina damage? Punched his head? Okay, alright. Certain attacks or parries will take chunks out of their key bar? I thought so. So a parry is just... It's, it's like blocking with just timing. Is that correct? Active skill to a normal attack. For each unique skill you connect while the enemy is aware of you, this effect stacks. I don't know what a skill is. Oh, okay. Swiftly move towards enemy every time before I put key pulse. I'm pushing forward on left. God. Okay. So any of these skills will give me stacks of this. Higher number gets, the higher your melee damage will be. Uh, yeah, okay. So there, it's like, it's mechanics incentiv but like incentivize you to stay in and stay in danger, but you have to hit all the buttons, right? Uh, but if you see them get a red pulse on an attack, you can hit R2 and B. 
R2 and B to pulse counter. Okay. Now, well, that's just like going back to neutral stance, right? Like this. Or, oh wait, that's R2 and B. And that uses meter. My little horn pops out. Deet, 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 deet. Okay. Okay, so that's the red pulse. Uh, okay, so you can counter red pulses with that. And then, okay, and then you can counter normal attacks by just tapping guard at the right time. All right. All right. I want to I wanna see, I want to test what this... Well, not on that. Oh, I keep hitting B to dodge, too, which is, you know, not right. Great. Is there supposed to be like a... Am I not getting the timing right? Fists are all about going in hard and never stopping. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that though. Cause they will they will stop me. Alright, I think I think I've had enough tooling around. Can you counter any enemy? Maybe not. Or maybe I was just doing it wrong. Or my timing was off? I don't know. Fuck. need to buy the skill to counter them. Ah! I don't have the skill yet. Alright. Because, like, some games, like, Souls and stuff, it's just part of the base mechanics. You can just parry as long as you ha your timing's right and you have the right equipment. Enemies in this game track a lot, so you have to dodge a lot at the last instant, especially bosses. That makes sense. I mean, I'm I'm more used to like using iframes to get through attacks than uh, than like positionally getting away from them. The main base mechanic is key pulsing. That's how you stand, stay in mm, to keep your to keep your stamina back. Yeah, I've always really liked that. That means that means that the fighting system has like a rhythmic aspect to it. But you have to like maintain your rhythm through the enemies throwing crazy attack patterns at you. So it is a lot of interpretation and sort of like. Trying to get your trying to get your rhythm back, trying to get your footing back, trying to take control back. Oh. Just Naruto run at him, he'll be too scared to fight. I think I have to now. Maybe the idea is or the intention is that you just blow past that guy. And then open that door. Flux switching is also smart. Switching stances when you regain key with R1 gives a better benefit. Yeah, I've been tooling around with that a little bit. Um I don't want to overwhelm myself with buttons too early on, but I do remember that being important. All right, peace outside. How far are you gonna chase me? I'm looking for the door. Fuck. Haha, uh -huh. this is not a door. Okay, well. Okay, so yeah, he ran out of stamina and then he fell down. Perfect. Out of key or down yokai, got it. <clears throat> Whoa! Smooth moves! Ah, okay. I didn't know if you were invincible while you were grappling. Do you have sort of compunction against healing? I, I'm i not in a state where I know the mechanics well enough for healing to matter. So. Also, healing, like... <laughs> healing gives you less than one hit worth of damage back. So I'd have to heal like three times or twice just to be able to take one more hit. 
Not really worth it at this point. I'm just in the tutorial. In the grapple, you have a limited iframe. You have a few, yeah. Probably not something you want to like. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it's possible to learn how to abuse it. Use it tactically. This way. I'm gonna try to take out the tiny guy first. I might be able to just bull rush him down. There we go. Fuck! I ran out of stamina! Oh, get up, get up, get up! Ah! See, like... Healing doesn't matter <laughs> if if I run out of stamina and I die in two hits, and I can't like do anything between those two hits. Oh boy, I gotta gotta always look at that bar. Man, it gets away from you. Okay, so grappling does cost a little amount of stamina, and it also interrupts your stamina recovery. So you gotta wait that like split second for it to start going back up again. So it's not, it's not, fuck, that's not block. <laughs> it's not right bumper. Ow! <sighs> and pr problems I never thought I'd have, which is playing, playing so many video games that I start to get their control templates mixed up. Yeah, remember your ABCs. Always be clicking at that bar. Yeah, I still, man, I just, I super, super wish there were, uh, like an audio feedback or something for that bar. Oh, shit! I, oh, I'm gonna... Holy moly. Alright. Always be cucking. Exactly. If it's like souls, stamina bar regens faster when you don't drain it all the way. I think that's probably the issue, too. So, let me see. Oh, boy, that's bad. Yeah, if you let it go all the way down... Okay, so that, that last recovery is super, super important. If you drain your meter out, and then also let it let it drain further. Or if you let it empty all the way out, you're you're fucked. I can't switch between Neo DMC Automata or Souls quickly because the controls fuck me up. Yeah. I mean I've been playing some Yakuza and you know the buttons are different. Getting a lot of stones, though, so that's good. Key pulsing is the most crucial difference between this and souls. Oh, I agree. I I mean, key pulsing is part of a whole combat system that's the big difference between this and souls. So, key pulsing, weapon stances, the vast array of weapons, the stamina system. It, it does kind of make it different than just you have a... You have a weapon and resources, and you have to make the enemy's HP go to zero. I mean, that is still the the goal here, but I don't know why I did that. Well timed, you can keep your key in the green for the entire boss fights? Really? I thought I thought it was designed to drain out slowly no matter what. But maybe you get enough skills. If you stack enough like skills and buffs, you can eventually recover over. Like I I I guess I've never seen if you're constantly chaining attacks together, can you actually get can you actually go positive on on stamina if you do it right? Tag at the bottom means you have a skill point to spend. Ah. Especially when you can keep pulse by dodging. Oh, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Where's counter? Please give me counter. Give me the thought balance. Normal attack. 
kick the enemy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. And that's right. There are, like, special abilities that will move you into a new stance. So then you start to, like... That's when you're like... Bleh. It really does become like a fighting game. Of, of, like... On the fly, you have to remember your kit. And which moves will move you into another kit. And then that opens up a whole another move set. And, like, this is just one weapon. Ugh. So ridiculous. You can absolutely get enough skills to the point where you recover more than your spend, but your timing has to be primo as fuck. Gotcha. Okay. That's... Alright. Alright, alright. I'm guessing stones are like the, the pull? So let me see if I can pull the spearman and then practice this counter. Hey, idiot. Come over here. Alright. You gotta actually hit me, though. Alright. Well, you did, though, so that's cool, I guess. Oh, you're tired. Got the Wing Chun. Ip Mon, motherfucker! What, are we Chun Li now? Actually, that'd be pretty good. Pretty good character build. Wrong button. Okay. Oh, he's out of stamina. Damn it. Trying to remember the buttons. His head pop off? Somebody up there shooting arrows at me too. Whew. I just kicked it off. Blap. I want to kill that guy. Was there character creation? Oh yes. This character is. This character has been fully customized. Yeah. The the idea is it's like an online multiplayer co-op action game. So. You can take your cool samurai into somebody else's game and show them off. Show off all your cool loot. Who? Oh, oh, it, shit. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay, so yeah, I, I had some iframes there. What did I just do? <laughs> I did a backflip out of frame. Man. Final Fantasy 12 out tomorrow on Game Pass. Can anyone recommend play slash avoid? Um, I recommend it if you like a more thinking man's RPG. Which sounds weird because it's still like Final Fantasy. It's still pretty anime, but it's um... 12 was one of the first big and I would say largely successful experiments with trying to abstract out menu-driven combat. So, the plot is is pretty political. Pretty well realized, actually. A lot more grounded than most Final Fantasy narratives. So none of this, like, Final Fantasy X laughing. Um, it's, it's largely about, like, political unrest between nations and the characters that are moving in that. And basically, like, the attempts to stop a full-out war instead of being set in a full-out war. Um... Yeah, and the main character, Vaughn, of Final Fantasy XII, is not really the main character. The main character is Ash. But, you know, you need a pretty anime boy on the cover. He's just kind of a dope who happened to connect all the characters. But he's fun, and he's like... As long as you go in not expecting him to be a protagonist with an arc, then it makes way more sense. Um, is it the closest to Dragon Age Origins for a Final Fantasy game? Yeah, actually, that's a pretty good way to put it. Um... Yeah, actually, and even the combat system can feel that way because it has the gambit system, which is really similar to tactics in Dragon Age Origins. So, you know how when you play a fighting game, or sorry, when you play a JRPG, 
all you're doing is you're just cycling through that menu and you're following an algorithm in your head, right? You're just doing attack, attack, attack. If somebody gets low on health, you heal them. Um, you make choices about what items to use or what magic spells to use, but largely you follow the same algorithm in your head that delivers you to victory in most of those GRPG fights. Um, what Final Fantasy XII did is they were like, okay, let's just make the algorithm the gameplay. So you set up behaviors for all of your characters, um, but you it does a really good job of making you having to go in and tweak those rule sets a lot. So you'll go into a new dungeon, there will be a new status effect that these enemies throw on you, and then you'll have to make a rule set to have your healer like get rid of that status effect. Or these enemies are weak to this element at this particular time, so you set up a rule that whenever they see this this uh, this like ability fire that you then cast this spell. So it rewards uh, that sort of strategic thinking, which is, is really synonymous with JRPGs, at least for me. But it doesn't make you smash through the menus all the time. But it will also drop kind of surprise damage on you at such frequency that you have to sort of take control and still still hit buttons. So the game doesn't play itself by any stretch. Um, it just takes the, the boring part of JRPG combat off of you. In other words, an actually interesting combat system. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Uh, I, I think it was just smarter about reducing the gameplay and the inputs, the buttons you hit, to the actual salient decisions you make. Um, I mean, thir Final Fantasy XIII did that too, and even more so, and I thought it was really, really good at it, but... But that's another game where it took a lot of, like, took some time to ease people into the concept. But yeah, if you've got an evening, um, if you got an evening to spend, I think Final Fantasy XII is a, a great way to just, you know, see if you like it. I think the first hours of that game are, are like good enough. I get a, a no random encounters. No, well, sort of. I mean, the enemies are just floating around in the game world, and then when you roll up to one and it aggro's on you, then you enter combat. But yeah, there's not like a screen wipe. Um, the idea of encounters being random is just that there's random enemies floating around and occasionally one will get mad at you. Like, I don't think you can avoid all combat if, if that's your goal. Is it moral to do your job while high if it's work from home? Trust me, I wasn't about to ask this question about my other job. Thank you, <laughs> JC. Um, I think it depends on the job. Um, if you're doing something, like if you're, if you're providing like remote counseling or if you're talking directly to people or interacting with them in a, in a meaningful or personal way. I think it might be a little deceitful on those one-on-one -on -one interactions to be high. Or if you're in like a business meeting um, and, and people need you to kind of be on point and thinking and, and there for the team. But if you're just, if you've got no meetings for the rest of the day and it's just like, I just got to get through emails, I got to fill out this spreadsheet, I got to tick these boxes, I got to do this bureaucratic work, then who gives a fuck, man? Sometimes jobs, jobs can be mind-numbing. So why not numb your mind? Uh, but I, I do think it requires a bit of uh, responsibility to sort of know the difference between those scenarios. But whatever, dude. It, it's California. <laughs> uh, people... Our, our fucking state GDP is sponsored by weed. That's how it feels sometimes. Oh, he's out of stamps. Oh yeah, Colorado. Yeah, you're right. But like going to any restaurant, I can guarantee you that the, the the talents of more than one inebriated person were involved in making your food. I don't know. Imagine I don't I don't imagine a lot of line cooks are just show up to work stone cold sober, ready to give their. Okay, so the arrows do not arc in this game. Come here, you bitch. God, the death the death effects are really cool though. It's got that shoom when you kill somebody. It feels like you just did something real not real awesome. I don't think there are any businesses without a number of employees on something. Yeah. Whatever, it's it's People have been doing it for years, and the world goes on. I mean, I'll, I'll take myself an ex as an example. I probably could be blitzed out of my mind every single day if I wanted to, but... 
I don't feel like that produces the best stream. I would rather be present in a lot of these moments um, than not, because why wouldn't I want to be clear and present and awake for the coolest job ever? Uh, also, I feel like it's just not... I, I don't... To some On some level, I feel like it wouldn't be super fair to people watching if I were in a state that I wasn't honest about. So, you know, I have a whole day where the premise, the premise and the, uh, the whole gimmick is that I can get, ooh, and get blitzed on stream. Video games are the only high I need. I love to see it, Captain Turtle. The depth of my devotion to video games is such that I would, I would give up weed in a second. If it, uh, if I had to choose. Alright, well that's a shortcut. That's strange. I thought that door opened from this side. Is it just locked from both sides? What's that all about? Eh? Eh? Huh? For real? Oh, maybe you just need a key. It loses its novelty when you do it every day, too. Yeah, it just, it becomes a new normal. If you need the key if it says it's locked. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, I guess, I guess, long story short, your father says, weed is awesome, but don't, don't make it your everyday. Or do, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you're an adult. That ruled. Weed is strictly for my anxiety. So Mc... Uh, Mick Strood, or MC Strood. That is, that is a, uh, oh yeah, I have a bow now. That is a, that is an interesting, that is an interesting kind of an area to explore. Because there's people who are like, oh, I can't function without my coffee. And I don't see how, like, I don't know how weed would ever be different than that. Um... I can I can definitely see and totally buy into people that like just function better or or are less yeah le have less anxiety and it I fully believe that somebody could be more productive and happier like better at their job than uh, on just a, a little a little buzz than not. Insight full internal monologues probably don't make a good stream wall. Oh shit, man. Well, that's basically all I've got. I'm jealous of weed people because weed doesn't have calories like alcohol does. Yep. It basically has almost none of the... Well, it, it literally has none of the negative health impacts that alcohol does. It's beautiful. Why don't they just kick that ladder down? There's an item down here. Let's get it. I find myself more productive, but I'm running with some lag when I'm high. Hmm. I'm definitely less productive. I uh, I can't maintain focus as well. I get sidetracked a lot easier. Um, work is more fun, but I'm definitely less productive. But also... When I'm most productive, I'm too productive, if that makes any sense. Oh. Fuck. Nobody deserves me at my most productive, unless it's me. I'm too good at work. Oh, you do get Amrita for that. Excellent. Hmm. So, even even uh, kind of going back to the or the original question, which was a really good one, JC. Um, yeah, it does make me less productive, but sometimes, you know, if you're, if you're just getting paid a salary, you don't owe your employer to be 100% on fire all the time. Whatever. You owe your employer whatever they're paying you for. 
Oh, I want the. Oh, okay. Jeez. Damn. Oh, hey, what's up there, little guy? <laughs> yeah, basically, who better? I mean, there's there's times where you gotta burn, you know? There's times there's times where it's time to, to kick it into gear. When, like, there's a project in front, or just, like, work's gotta get done. And... I, I guess what I've always appreciated and what I try to do is... is really be aware of and embrace the uh sometimes the cyclical nature of work that there can be slow seasons and 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 busy seasons so when it's time to work put that weed away but when things are slow who cares dang oh this gets you this gets you emrita oh it does okay Divine rice. Hit? Is Amrita the only thing you'd want to turn old gear into that you're not going to use? Like George Carlin said, you work just hard enough to not get fired and get paid just enough to not quit. Yeah. Reminds me of that line from Office Space too. Yeah, where you work just hard enough to not get fired. I can't be high in work, it just doesn't seem like something to do while working, more like something to do after work if I deserve it or need it. I agree. What does Divine Rice do? I guess I'll find out. I'll find all these things out. Long answer. Ideally, you want to scrap equipment at the blacksmith to get materials or to turn into rare materials to be able to forge rare weapons at your leisure. Gotcha. Okay. So, you do want to sort of stockpile... Uh, oh, this is where you buy things with rice. That's right. Yes! So you can turn gear into healing items and stuff. That's a really neat system. I feel like... I feel like economy systems are good if they if they allow you to turn game activity into specific items that you're looking for. Or allow you to, like, circum... Like, to be able to grind up... Maybe not a free ride through a boss fight or something like that, but... Just that edge. I used to be paranoid on weed, but now I zone so hard I don't even care. Well, that's pretty good. Fuck. I really want that timing. What? God, I wish I could counter reliably. It looks so cool. And it puts you behind, and I'm going to assume that there are buffs for, for hitting from behind. Aesthetic Bartender, thanks for the resub. And thanks for the 10 months. Very much appreciate that. Saizan, thank you for the sub as well. Oop, wrong way. Oops, oops, oops. All the jiggles on the shoulder pads, yeah. The titties may not jiggle, but the shoulder pads do. Actually, for all I know, the titties jiggle too. Just starting? Yeah, I'm pretty much at the, uh, the beginning of the game. There's actually no block damage? Well, maybe not here. 
I can't imagine that'll be the case for the entire game. There's no way they'll just let me block for free through, like, boss combo strings and stuff. Hmm. I'm trying to remember... I remember the, like, there's a ladder back there, but I forgot how many dudes I have to run through to get to it. Ah, uh, this'll work. Yeah, I can get up this way. Uh -huh. Used to sniff cokes in my job's bathrooms? Jesus. <laughs> well, you do what you gotta do to get through the day, I guess. I think I'd, I'd probably be shocked to learn the actual amount of people around me on a daily basis have or are currently using cocaine. God, especially during the machinima or rooster teeth days. When people thought they were king shit. Everybody can't wait to roleplay being a, a sleazy, a slime bag producer, I guess. Heard stories after the fact about people showing up to machinima shoots just fucking tweaked out of their goddamn gourd. Which is silly, because, like, nobody... Nobody earned that. Nobody was like, oh, 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 ooh, I should have died. Nobody was a big enough deal to, like, be able to behave that way, but... You know, that doesn't stop people. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna interrupt. Dang it. We actually had during some of the Funhouse videos? Yeah. I mean, the ones the ones where that was the gimmick, yeah. Why would people assume that... I don't understand why, like... I get that people love being conspiratorial, but... I don't understand the, the inclination to think that that was anything other than genuine. Like, why? What would, what would be the benefit of faking it? Also, that's the whole point, is getting high on the clock. That's the whole point. You were actually as Tug Nuggets? No. That was that was just a character. And plus the the framing device of that video was not that we were high, so. For all the Tug Nuggets stuff, no, I was I was sober for that. Um Because that was also in the middle of the workday, and it wasn't my production. Last three streams have been so awesome in the sense that we just had conversations about work and not burning yourself out. I'm only 21 and I burnt myself out by giving 110% for the first three months. And you can't keep up and you get fired. It was really just nice to hear I'm not the only one who does that. Oh no, you're you're definitely not. Um, and yeah, the the problem is like when you set the standard, then that's what they expect. And there's no like unfortunately, there's very little of like actually rewarding hard work. It's more like we're going to pay you this, and then because, like, even knowing the pay rate, you've decided to offer this work product. So, great. That's, that's, that's clearly what you, that must be your work ethic or whatever. And then people, people get used to it, and they take it for granted, and then when you stop doing it, it's not like you've gone back to normal. Now you're under normal. Shit. Ugh. Ah, oh, well, I still got the attack off. All right. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out that, that no one, basically no one on the planet, um, objectively thinks about pay rates or work. It's all relative, and it's all... It's all like mind space shit. So if you convince somebody you're doing more work than you are, especially if you have a shitty boss who's not really paying attention, then that's it. That's it's not about how much work you're doing, it's about how much work the people who pay you think you're doing. Um Now that doesn't make you best like doesn't really make you best friends with everyone on your team, especially if it's a team lift, but man. Man, can it be annoying to be around people who just 
Endlessly angle on doing no work. That's fun. And then when you don't do something, they think you're lazy or something? Yeah. Or like for me, I would, I would volunteer effort a lot to help punch things up. But then the person that I helped would just kind of absorb all of the credit for how well something did. So somebody would... You get in the position where people just kind of absorb your efforts. And then what's really fun is when people resent you <laughs> for, for, for helping them. It's fucking weird, man. Just because you're not on board with their vision of doing no work, I guess. That stuff kind of steams me up when I heard about, like, specifically the things happening at Bioware, talking about, like, Bioware magic and all that shit. I'm like, I know exactly what that is. That's managers that don't understand. All right. Managers that don't understand that it was the extraordinary efforts of people that actually got them there. It wasn't magic. They just weren't looking. Kind of like me dodging right off of a, a bridge. Empire where magic is peyote. <laughs> it's overtime. It's loads of overtime put in by people who care. And then kind of like kind of like the report said, the managers of Bioware began to rely on it. Because once you do it, you can never stop because it instantly becomes the new normal. Wow. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I've been working from home for over a year, even switch companies, all working remote. Man. It's a, it's a crazy setup. Stephanie's, Stephanie's worked remote and launched a game with a whole team she barely even met. In most cases, have, hasn't met. At all. So. That's crazy. Oh. Did it yesterday, you can do it today. Yeah. Uh, so many projects that I like put in that extra little dash of effort and just no one cared just came and went like a thief in the night I mean to be honest though and, and this isn't me being like this isn't me being f like faux humble or saying the easy thing to, to fluff egos but I think people did care it was the people watching if not the people I was working with, which has allowed me to transition into something like this. Where people's appreciation then I get I get to tap it directly. I get to go to the source. Yeah, fists are pretty cool. Also working with people I've still never met, so strange. You started in December. Mmm. There's gonna come a day where you'll get to actually meet up with all your coworkers and do a normal human thing, like have a beer or two and just, just let off some steam after work. Won't that be amazing? I do prefer this platform for you. You get to be you 100%. Yeah, Ruby, it's it's nice. It's uncomplicated. And to some degree, that's also why I have kind of avoided doing a whole lot of streams with other people. Even though they're really fun and good god, I do I need the companionship. But just still shaking off the... Shaking off the complications, I guess. It is really nice to just, just be me for a little bit. <laughs> No one has me thinking recently. I've been going through technical interviews and I've run more than once into interviewers that send me homework to submit them for review. I wouldn't mind if those were small assignments, but some of the things I've seen require five to eight hours to complete unpaid for the opportunity of moving on to the next round of interviews. Yeah, that's too much for a test. Um, especially if they're asking you to volunteer that time with other people. Like sometimes, depending on the work, I get... I get a small test, but like, let's say that, let's say that I'm doing an, uh, let's say that I'm interviewing an editor or something, and I want to see how they can edit. I wouldn't give them, like, 
multiple hours of footage. I'd give them like 20 minutes and say like, edit this into one minute. Panel interviews are bad enough. Yeah. They just try to like, test you, see how you react. you let them hit you or do they spend stamina when you dodge? Uh, they spend stamina when they attack. Just like me. Job hunting is so much bullshit. It kind of is. It doesn't have to be, but it kind of is, yeah. Me trying to be super available for everyone has led to people assuming I have no life and even mocking me for it while expecting me to change schedule for them. It's crazy. Freak steak, yeah, you, you got to stand up for yourself. Um, I think if you're around the right people who understand those dynamics, they won't they won't take advantage of you or mock you for things. But I think some people it can read as like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it reads as. But yeah, you're right. There's such a thing as being too nice to people, especially the wrong kind of people. I'm not saying that your friends are like bad people, but. I think it takes a lot of emotional maturity to to see someone providing unrequested kindness to to even have the eyeballs to notice it because most people just absorb it without thinking about it um, to to be able to actively notice it and then to also appreciate it um, it takes a it takes an awfully high IQ to do those things most people don't have that capacity. I'm known as the super reliable one among my friends, but no life to acquaintances? Hmm. Well, maybe stop offering that to acquaintances. I mean, unless unless it's doing something for you, and maybe that's something to think about. But uh, if there's someone you don't know, and you have no idea if they're going to even value what you do, what compels you to then offer your time to that person? Is it, you just, do you have like a mental image of this is just what good people do? Because that's, I, I do that a lot too. But then you, you kind of have to acknowledge the tax. Uh, and I don't know. It might be worth asking yourself some difficult questions about how you spend your time. I've had to do that. I'm, I'm not project... I, well, I am projecting. It's, it's pure projection. <laughs> I'm not telling you how to, how to do your thing. But I definitely know that lately I've had to ask myself a lot of hard questions about the kindness I show to people and whether or not they deserved it. And whether or not it did anything. Like if you show kindness to somebody and all it does is make you feel like you wasted your time... Was it actual kindness? I don't know. Maybe you just did someone a favor that they didn't acknowledge, and if, if they don't acknowledge it, is it a favor? You have to, like, love somebody pretty unconditionally to want to make things easier for them in a way that they don't appreciate. And that's, like, stuff that parents do. I do sort of feel like being reliable is something to be proud of. Well, that's, it's good to take pride in yourself, uh, but at the same time, and, and I'm, I'm reading a fair amount into it, you know, it's just text... Uh, I'm just I'm just offering ideas here. I'm not trying to psychoanalyze, but um, it sounds like the trade-off is you know you and you endure those moments because they you're proud of yourself, and it's annoying when people talk about those qualities as something that you shouldn't be proud of, and I I understand that a lot. But in that case, you know you gotta ideally I think, and and this is not simple. I'm just laying out the ideal. Is that in those moments you just acknowledge, well, I do this for me. And if you don't appreciate that, too effing bad. A phrase I've been thinking of a lot lately is people are allowed to be assholes. They are. I think a kindness doesn't require reciprocation. It absolutely doesn't. No, no, no. A, 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 well, I, I know that I, I was basically setting that up, but not like Schrodinger's kindness. It's more like... I think it's about sustainability. And then about, I guess, considering... How you spend your time and how much time you want to take for yourself. 
Be as kind to yourself as others. Ooh, yellow barrow. I think you've nailed it. I think you've nailed it. Yes. I think a lot of people are trained to give other people the kindness that they can't even extend to themselves. Which makes total sense. It's like, it's seen as a virtue. But, uh, that can easily cross over into martyrdom pretty fast. And, uh, an unappreciated martyr is a, is a bitter martyr. If you're gonna, if you're gonna cut those wrists open in front of everybody, they can suck when nobody, nobody sees. Then what's the point? What are you cutting for? You know? But I, I'm talking about extremes, so... Still got fast dodges and stuff. Ooh, got the bag of pants. Homa Urim, thank you very much for the thank you very much for the sub. Jay Rickle, thank you. It's been two years. Oh, and it's still as epic as the first time I've ever been here. I haven't been here as much as I'd like due to life and stuff, but I still love you. Keep up the good work, King. I will try my best. I'm gonna keep gaming. Oh! Ah, oh, Christ. Uh, okay. Oh! A door I can open. What are your impressions of the performance of the PC version of the game? Had some issues so far? No, it's it's run very, very well. Which, yeah, is a bit off, because the I feel like the PC version of Neo 1 was a little chunky. But no, this has been buttery... Oh, that's creepy. This has been buttery smooth so far. What the heck is that? Use this to increase your anima. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. It's like souls. Use this to commit Harakiri. You will lose everything but retain your honor. Finally. Ah, uh, Comics, thanks for the sub. Mr. Chubb, thanks for dropping in. I'm doing very, very well. This game's great. Man, this game's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna axe kick this dude. I'm gonna flank twirl kick him. Wham! I'm kind of surprised. I was, I was totally expecting to get bashed in the side. As soon as I came in on this guy. I was like, there's gonna be a dude hiding behind this tree. There's gotta be. Shockingly, no. The no-hit run continues. Uh, Freak Steak says, nothing more than a slight annoyance. Really not so big a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if there's one thing I do on this stream, it's dive way too deep into the light topics. So, I feel mostly everyone gets one freebie from me when it comes to going out of my way for them. If they don't appreciate it, I'll just go to the status quo. Hey, that's the best. Yeah, I feel like that's the best, most sustainable, and healthiest... How did somebody die here? Uh, uh, best way to do it is, yeah. Give everyone the benefit of the doubt. If they if they return that, that openness and kindness, then then great. And if, the, if not... Ariel. See you around. <sighs> should I try to beat him up? I mean, there is a shrine right there. Maybe I should level up first. I'll do that. Well, maybe I'll, I'll beat this guy up. Axe dudes are fun because their attacks use a ton of stamina. So, like, he's already at half. It's really easy to bait out attacks and stun them. And then you get that sick animation. It's not Jeet Kune Do. I shouldn't be doing Bruce Lee shit, but... That's just stereotypical. Ooh. I was trying to style a little bit. I shouldn't be so risky when I... Ah, oh, god damn it. Like a panther. Oh, well, I guess this is the level, how the level progresses. Is that a cat orb? 
That is a very round cat. Spherical cat boy. Ooh! That's right, they follow you around, I think? Oh, never mind. I'll pet the cat ball. Aw, oh, look at you. Oh my god. So round. Oh! Oh, he's so big! He just has to roll. Oh, fat boy. I can't remember what that buff is. Is there a way to... Oh, it's timed, too. Yeah, he rolling. He rolling. Guys, if Y2K is coming back, then that means... Yes, it's true. Limp Biscuit, finally. It's time. It's finally time for a Limp Biscuit renaissance. Oh, that's how you go to the other items. All right. Oh, shit. All right, cat. Let's get her... No, I'm gonna go level up first. I'm not gonna lose all this... All this... Amrita, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, also, there's this guy. Buff lets you gain anima automatically. Automatically? Like, you... Like, you get more when you kill enemies or something? People go posting Y2K now? Pretty much just me. I don't know about people. Alright, well, whatever. He rolled in... Hey, hey, Tin. I still feel like I haven't picked up any elixirs, so I don't know about this drop rate business. Oh, the purple bar. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, Anima. Anima is not Amrita. Right, thank you. I haven't really been using that at all yet. Oh, I can't even level up! Jeez. Alright, well... Yokai counters and Yokia summons. Gotcha. Uh, bathroom break. Be right back. I've been drinking a lot. I'm hydrating like crazy. See you guys soon. Um, somebody asks if I do kegels while I'm sitting here. Uh, no. I've thought about getting a desk bike. But I feel like if I, if I elevated my heart rate and started breathing harder, that would be creepy. So, no. Mostly I just kind of work on my posture. Um... It's kind of it. Just make sure that like shoulders are back. I tend to hunch. I think most most gamers get the hunch. Most people do. I, it's not a gamer thing. Old people. That's where you get the bump from. I want to be one of those hot old dudes that that still like stands up and looks rad. It's gonna be me. A a vertical Chad Homo sapien at age at age ninety. Through his, through his. That's that's cute. He's like, hey, fuck you, guy. Uh oh. Don't don't shoot that. Top of the back, Archon was called Kyphosis. The more you know. I didn't know that. But that's good to know. Yeah, I've been I've been back in the gym, so it's interesting, my especially when I work back. Like my back tends to lock up a lot. So if I work back, uh then I have to like make super sure that uh not only do I like loosen up my back muscles, I use like a little um Racket ball to like squish all my knots out, but then I have to make sure that I'm not doing this again when I work chest because my chest starts tightening up and then it pulls my shoulders forward and then my back gets annoyed because it's not in this is not in balance. I am <laughs> let's start Soul Cycle on stream. Okay, time to beat up a big guy. I've been kind of avoiding this, but oh, never mind. I guess I'm in the yokai realm. This makes your stamina come back way slower, right? Or you can't... Huh. Oh wait, I'm hitting the wrong button. 
Foam rollers are dope. Yeah, I couldn't get the, like, violence and penetration I needed off of a foam roller, so... I can go with a racquetball now, which basically lets me, like, lean all of my body weight onto one point, which helps a lot. Key pulses are crucial here. Gotcha. Okay, so they're gonna let me take on some, some tiny boys first to get the feel for it. Oh boy. Not sure if you can answer this, but does King of the Hill accurately depict life in Texas? It's really close, yeah. Um, I mean, it's 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 a bit of a caricature, like, like shows like that are, but every character in that show is exactly someone from a small town in Texas. Like the the simple minding simple minded hardworking dad who can't connect to any member of his family, the like tiger mom who thinks she knows Spanish and is like actually like a, a motivated and strong woman, but still very very Texas and like it's that weird mix of being like a strong independent person but still a little bit traditional, um, like the way Peggy Hill speaks Spanish and she's like oh my god that is everyone. <laughs> Um, and then Bobby being like a weird kid who, whose heart kind of belongs in the big city and is just not cut out for small town Texas living, but here he is. So it's, uh, Luann Platter is just like the most amazing, uh, cousin, uh, cotton, you know, racist old war veteran granddad. It's, it, it is all shockingly on point, uh, too much about it. Mike Judge has an incredible ability to just capture the soul of whatever he's writing about. Um, and he, like, as much as King of the King of the Hill is every bit as accurate to small town Texas culture as Silicon Valley is to Silicon Valley, and it's astoundingly accurate, like creepily accurate. Somebody had to live it to understand it. I mean, it was so on the nose that I didn't register half of them as jokes, because it was just where I grew up. Um, not quite as uh, not quite as 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 like lighthearted, I guess, but. It was after I moved to, like, Dallas and started kind of understanding the world outside of, of small-town Texas bubble that I understood the comedy in King of the Hill a lot more. Cotton is great because it's a very interesting in how he hates his traditional man's man, Hank, but loves his weirdo, wimpy grandson, Bobby. Yeah, that's the other weird thing about, like, Texas grandfathers, is they're brutal on their kids, but they love their grandkids unconditionally. Another weird thing. Another weird, weird thing. My dad is Hank Hill. Yeah, I mean, Ferret King, you understand. Um, yeah, like, I, I don't know your dad all that well, but he seemed like a really hardworking guy who tried to do the right thing, but also just kind of, you know, has a mind that's the way it is. And he lives a certain way and believes in certain things. And it's just really, really hard for people like that to sort of really get things outside of their, their sphere. But they're not bad people, you know? They're good, hard-working people, you know, it's backbone of America kind of people is kind of how I think about it. But also, like, live their job. Just everything about it. It is who they are. I guess, I guess I found a way to do that, you know? Video games are, every, are everything. <laughs> so... I play video games and video game accessories. I wonder sometimes if I'm gonna turn to that old person stuck in their time. You absolutely will, yes. Um Like th think about it like this. It's it's easy to stay current and immersed in pop media or or like young youth culture when it's all you know. And it's and you have the time <laughs> to to get involved with it and, and keep up with it. But as you get older, you got better things to do than to, like, troll TikTok and, and stay up with trends. Um, maybe not better things, but certainly more more expectations are put on your time. So, uh, I think what happens is before, like, there's, there's a beat where there's a new thing. And you could take the time to try to understand it and learn it, but you were just like, I just worked a, a long day at work, you know. Um, my head's filled with, or my emotional energy is spent. I don't really have the time right now to understand this TikTok trend or understand this hashtag. And that's kind of where it starts. And, you know, five or six of them go by. Movements come and go. And before long, there's a youth culture who believes in something and is doing something that's so divorced from any of your values or what you do in your current day. Uh, it happens to everybody. Uh, I don't know that it's necessarily a virtue to, uh, 
to spend all your time trying to stay current with what's going on to other generations either. I mean, in the same way that you didn't really give a shit what old people were about when you were young, it only makes sense that when you're old, you won't give a shit what young people are about. It's just different times, different, different lifestyles. Empathy is always an important skill to practice, but I don't think it's necessarily uh, vital to develop empathy and awareness for every everybody's lifestyle at all times, at every age. Plus, I think when you get older too, and then you see the things that young people get very upset about, you're like, oh yes, I was young too. And then you get you get that perspective too, that like slightly condescending perspective that young people also hate. And then they, they point to it as a sign of just how disparate your livelihoods are, because they kind of are. I'm worried about being out of touch with technology. I don't want to end up like an old person who doesn't know what email is. Well, then yeah, then you got to invest a certain amount of effort to staying current with those things. Um, learning how to use new devices to whatever degree you need to use them. But again, sometimes it goes back to the same thing of like, why? If, if learning a new technology is only going to give you access to youth culture that you don't care about, Quit being ageist and kill that old fuck. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Good way to initiate there. Oh shit, I'm out of stamp. Oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Alright. Wow, you actually... Guarding is very safe in this game, for some reason. Oh, okay. So the intention is that you can't guard a whole string and then have any stamina left to attack. I think I understand that. Shit. Fuck. I hit A. Nothing happened. I did, though. What was that? Oh, it's a grab. Got it. Wanted to dodge in. I don't know, the iframe's on the dodge. I'm still trying to figure that out. I feel like maybe I'm slow. Yeah, like his stamina bars is getting lowered. Like, the max is going down, but I can't remember exactly what that mechanic's about. Like, I don't remember how to target that. Because you can make it so their stamina bar gets really low. That's, like, a potential way to do fights like this. Ah, oh, Yeah, I pushed it way too hard. Oh, and then he recovered. He recovered the stamina. Interesting. Hey, an elixir. How exciting. Oof. Yeah, that music was sick though, wasn't it? Man. Kid Burnman, or Kid Berman, excuse me. Thank you for the sub. I got a better spear. Oh. Ooh, life recovery. Well, well, well. I don't know when my equip weight is going to get to the point where my... Where 
I won't be able to dodge fast anymore. Ape defeated. You're given a time machine and you get to relive any year and any changes ripple into the present. Which year and why? It's a really good question. Um, hmm. Man, I'd have to think a lot about that. Uh, maybe like... Maybe 2018. I'll leave Rooster Teeth a little earlier than I did. Start building my own platforms a little earlier than I did. But I don't know. I think, I think that I didn't have pers certain perspectives then. Oh. Happy 40, 420 on the East Coast. Ooh. Happy 420 on the East Coast, everybody. What the fuck? You wouldn't go back and fuck your mom after making rock music? Oh. That's a deep cut. Mm, I think that'd be a little too early for my mom. I'd have to. I'd have to go to the 80s. I think. To, excuse Legalize Ranch. Thank you. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. Oh. Okay. Should we like leveling up strength? How would your mom feel if she heard what you said? She'd probably just laugh and sigh. She has the capacity... I don't know. My mom is is pretty great, um, but she doesn't get offended by things like that. I don't think. This is really pretty. The change is rippling into the present, though, man. That's a... That's that's a real devil's bargain kind of thing, though. We got a cutscene? Yes! It's weirdly stuttery. Why is it like that? I've noticed that with, like, desktop games now. I get a weird frame jutter during cutscenes, but not during gameplay. Yeah. Oh. that cinematic camera trying to cut in. Alright. Horse demon. Sure. Yeah, real boss time. What do you think? One hit? Two hits? <laughs> Punished a Bojack. I didn't that didn't do as much damage as I was expecting. Oh, shit. I thought the rock was going to block it. Oh, I tried. I tried to... I tried to burst counter that. Not... not well. You did no damage? I did damage to the to more of the stamina bar. Oh. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Alright. What's up there, little guy? Quick note, you have the beast counter. The beast counter is an interrupt. You have to get close to the enemy and hit them. Oh! Okay, so I can tag them anytime before I get hit. That's... that seems better than actually having to time a counter, but thank you for that note. That would have, uh... I would have gotten hit a lot and been very confused.
Fuck. Gotta time it. I have a lot of skill points to spend. Oh! <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I just ran into a wall. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Yokai shift. I can do that whenever I want. I haven't been using that at all. Ugh, so many buttons. Oh, okay, yeah, I might as well buy this. Oh! Oh, low stance. Those, will, those are important to buy at some point. Wait, restoring health. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, because that usually happens in boss fights, I feel like. You can yokai shift and then do a grapple. Damn it. Oh, that's cool. These are all important. These all seem so important. Uh, I'll just buy all these. Oh wait, I don't have that many. Never mind. Oh, okay, okay. Because skill points on weapons are different than just skill points in general. The fact that there are different special moves for every stance. Like, it's not the same... It's not the same input. So let's see here. Okay. That rush forward move is a bit of a... It's an attack unto itself, too, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Have you joined the Psychedelics Renaissance and Microdosing? No. Uh, acid, acid is not legal in California. I don't know. I, I tend to be a, a pretty... I'm a... I'm a Lawful good kind of character. So, I tend to not dabble with stuff if it's not widely legal. Ugh. Oh, wrong one. I got I went a little too early. Okay, so he will flash red. And that's I gotta hit the button. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh he's got a little back he's got a little backy horsey kick. That's fun. Ugh, right. Couldn't get close enough. Ugh. Oh, we got all his stamina back, damn it. And I didn't. Ah, uh, lame. Okay. God, there's so many buttons. There's so many. You gotta tap the right bumpers to get your stamina back and change stances. You gotta hit right right trigger and B to do the counter. So many buttons. Yeah, mechanics on mechanics on mechanics on mechanics. Crash man, or crash man, I, I know what I'm supposed to hit. I know what I'm supposed to do. You don't gotta tell me. I know. <laughs> it's just hitting the buttons. Knowing how to do it and doing it are two different things. Ah. It's one of the interesting things about spectation sometimes. People assume that if you didn't do the thing, it must simply be because you weren't thinking about it or didn't know how to. 
Uh, fuck. I know. It says it on the screen. Oh, yeah, I didn't think it was gonna work after the fact. That would have been sick, though. All right, the back kick. Bloop. Blocking is often better than dodging. It seems like it, especially when you're trying to observe patterns. Yeah, because you don't you don't absorb damage. Like blocking blocks a hundred. Uh, provided you have stamina. You can hire an NPC to help. I know. Crash. You don't have to explain the mechanics to me. Uh, I'm just choosing not to because I'd rather. I'd rather uh, learn the game without having a overpowered NPC walk me through it. Fuck. Almost. A little late on that one. And you gotta be fast. With fists, you don't lose key, uh, much key on blocking either. Yeah. I'll get there. <laughs> Fuck. Can... I guess the thing is, you can... Fuck. You can cancel an attack into a dodge, but can you cancel into a block? I was holding right, right trigger, hoping that there would be a thing. Is there a way to heal in this game? There is. But uh, you don't get your heals back. Like it's not like a, it's not like an Estus. So if I use all my elixirs, I don't, I, they don't come back, unless I have enough rice. <laughs> ah, God, the moving forward is actually not the best because it'll make me circle around the enemy, and then I have no idea where I am in relation to. Fuck. Get your heals back, just not all of them? Oh, really? I thought it was possible to have, like, none. Okay. Alright. I really want to hit one of these counters, so I think I'm gonna just... block... and wait. Fuck! God damn it! The first thing you did! Alright, I'm figuring it out, though. <laughs> oh, that grab, though. Can't block that grab. That's the whole point. When you defeat him, the victory will be worth it. That is true. That is absolutely true. Minimum you have is dependent on how many Kadamas in the region you have discovered. Minimum is three, max is eight. Did I just get hit going through the door? All right, thank you. I'm not seeing the I'm not seeing the prompt for the throw for some reason. It's It's there. Oh, we traded. Ah. The second you hit a door, you get immediate iframes. Hell yeah. He raises his right hand. Yeah, but it puts that like black and black and white smudgy swirl around it, that like oily swirl. So there's there's a visual indicator 
And there's a sound too, there's a schwamp. Does any form work? Could you use it on him? Probably, yeah. I haven't even touched it yet. Ah, oh, I thought he was done. Fuck! I should have seen that coming. I'm still observing. Oh, what? Oh, come on. All right, well, I guess it was actually probably better that I take that on my own form. Too late. God. I thought... So I thought there was, like, the the ultra move. So after you stagger him, after you deplete the stamina gauge, do you get one chance to do a grapple? Um, did I just mash mash through that opportunity? Is that is that what happened? I was expecting to, like, break stamina, go into Oni form, then do the grapple. But... Maybe my expectation was off. Take the stun. I got the timing wrong. Ah, uh, that was a throw! Oh, wow. Kick, right? <sighs> I think the grapple always happens when you make... I don't think the grapple always happens when you make them go out of key. Okay, so... Because I remember the, um... The demo... There was a way to grapple the boss, and it did ass loads of damage. And it was basically, like, the ultimate style way to kill. Or to, to, to like, do damage. But, uh, I... Maybe it's just, like, a mechanic that's boss-specific. Um... Long story short, Yokai's key works different than humans. Okay, once you bring that into zero, you can continue hitting. Doing that uh, brings down their max key. Okay, got it. It's a bit different than Yokai. You have to completely shut their key, I think. Okay, got it, got it. Appreciate the uh, the uh, patient instruction giving. He backed up. This boss is kind, though, because th there is a generous pause after the end of... Fuck! Keep trading with that fucking thing. Oh! There is a pretty generous pause after every combo, so if he does break your guard, you have time to get it back. Oh, that hurt- Ah, that hurts you? Oh, and then a throw! God damn it! Uh... You bring that to zero, then you can grapple. Oh, okay. You take their health down to zero. Got it. You can when he lost all of his stim and turns red. Well, he's dead at that point, right? If the red bar goes all the way down? Oh, I got lucky. No! Ah!
God damn it, hit on the stand animation. Oh. All right, all right, all right. I get it. Fucking Christ. Is this an instructional boss battle still? I would say so, yeah. It's it's meant to teach you the uh, the, the burst counter. But also, I think, just the, the virtue, or the timing of this guy's attacks is still pretty tutorial-ish. There are, there are things they could do to make this boss fight so much worse. And I'm... Perhaps they will. But, like, if that hit was, like, five, it'd probably be more guaranteed damage. Fuck, he really loves backing up. I feel like, oh, I'm in the throw! God! His backup, like, gets me out of range, I feel like. Maybe I'm un underestimating the range of the burst counter thing. Uh. Oh, is high, does high stance target key more? I don't know about the, like, general utility of any of the stances. Or, like, what they're supposed to be used for. The game never really tells you that. Unless it does, and I just didn't see it. God damn it. The worst part. Get up! Okay. Why couldn't... Why can't I go yokai stance? My meter was full. Is it on like a cooldown or something? I kept, I kept trying to switch into it and it just wouldn't... wouldn't go. Yeah, I get it. How's this game on PC? I it's running perfectly for me. Okay, it's the big emblem. Ah, okay. Okay, so yeah, it's not there yet. Oh, well now it is. Dude! Okay, I gotta stop rolling that way to, to dodge that grab. Maybe I just roll backwards. Cause Jesus, he tracked me and then like the uh the grabbing frames were, like, there all through the roll until the roll was done, and then he grabbed me. God. Have any swordplay training IRL? Uh, psh, I did fencing, like, twice. And did a couple of sword sword forms in Kung Fu, but... Nothing worth talking about. Neo enemies track for the first 50% of their attack. That tracked for the entire thing! It tracked until the grabbing frames were done. It seemed like...
all I wanted. What's my stamina back? Okay. high stance uh, Neo 2 is absolutely dropping inputs Neo 1 had that problem on PC as well oh really hmm it hasn't felt like that yet um, but I believe you spaghettis I don't I don't have enough confidence in my inputs right now to know if they're getting dropped or not but That's new. Right, that causes damage. Oh, shit. No, oh, I didn't, uh... My hands weren't on the two buttons I need to counter. Two. Two buttons. You gotta hit two. Uh, other games, you merely have to hit one button at the right time. This one, it's two. Or maybe three. Good God. Fuck. Yeah, that was poorly timed. I gotta, I gotta play around with trying to do that counter at range more too. I just never, for a second, believe that it'll, it'll like hit. That's fun. Really tiny health bar now, or stamina bar. Fuck. Shit! Ugh. Wait. Oh, when they go into, like, Spectral Realm or whatever, they get stamina back? Is that how that works? Fuck. Ah, uh, wrong button! There's so many buttons! Fuck. Many fucking buttons. Um, part of me is like, why some of these buttons could have been condensed? I feel like guard is a button, stance is a button, dodge is a button, counters a two other buttons. It's just they used everything on the controller. Getting closer each round. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. Takes ad adapting for the amount of finger dancing. Yeah, I, I'm I'm sure it feels awesome once you get it, but there's that awkward 
phase at the beginning where you just keep hitting the wrong thing and can't remember what to hit. The reflexes aren't there. Remember that with Neo 1 big time. At least they're a little kind about trading with that counter. It doesn't do that much damage because I guess they kind of expect that your timing isn't going to be super on point. Ah! You really have to be aggressive? Did not, no? No? Oh, I don't know about that. You have to hit the exact right buttons at the exact right times all the time. Informal va variant? Thank you for the prime. I don't think you- like, you can't be aggressive non-stop. Maybe if I had the ability to, like, stack all these buffs and stuff and rotating through stances and special attacks would, uh, like, it's- Key is, like, the- the biggest thing I'm trying to manage right now. At least I'm not- not smashing myself out of key. Well, that's- that's a positive, I guess. Did not expect my key to be that low. Now I'm just out. That's kind of interesting that they let you fight the boss. They let you fight the boss in like normal environment. Okay, when they're out of key, then your attacks stagger more. Or stagger at all. I feel like you also have to, um, it's good to switch mid stance whenever blocking. To mid whenever blocking. Why is that? Do you block better in mid? Yeah, when a yokai's out of key, they lose hyper armor. That makes sense. Kind of what I was noticing. So then it's like when they're out of key, basically, you can run your best damaging combo. Oh, you take less key damage. Oh, okay. Well, that'll help. I don't know that I'm going to be switching to, to high stance. That's too too many buttons for a tutorial boss fight. I'm just going to keep it in mid and try to try to learn the timing and just get the counters and the blocks and the the cleansing. What? 
All right, okay. Oh! No, do the thing! Oh. Okay. So that's what you wanted. That's what you want to use the form for, I guess. If you can switch into that. Okay, so it just seems like if you beat the shit out of them in the in the yokai realm enough. Fuck. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> this is a you must be this tall to ride type of tutorial boss. Yeah. This isn't nearly as bad as the boss that was in the demo. This at least gives you a glimpse of, uh, of victory. When you don't heal its anxiety. What is, what is healing? Health is a resource. Fuck me! I just gotta stop trying to dodge through it. I don't know why I keep trying that. It seems so swag though. Fuck, I can't, I can't be doing full combos. <gasps> I always see it just a second too late. And unless you finish the boss with one HP and no heals, you simply haven't spent all your resources optimally. Exactly. Exactly. How fast and loose I play with my own HP? Well, it's... You know when you have the skill to beat a boss. Like, okay. Healing... Healing is just there to, like, give you a couple more mistakes. But if... I even saw the hand, like, jerk behind him to grab me! I don't know why I keep thinking I can get away with that. It's like the exact opposite of what I can get away with. I mean, that's really good at burning burning down maximum key. <laughs> I keep dodging right into it. Okay, okay. Well, I want to stay in because... Mm. It's best to kind of the last of the three big smashes? Yeah. He does three in normal reality and only one in, uh, in yokai reality. I can't stop now. I can't stop. It's baked into my brain and it won't get out. Whatever, just just do it. All right. Okay. It just it looks like he's maybe I have to go I maybe have to go left. I'll try going left. Yeah. I want to roll through instead of away. That's absolutely certain cuz it's like if it's a grab, then I'm like, "Ooh, there's going to be a big ass like vulnerability window after it. There has to be." When I'm close to him, his hand goes out of frame when he reaches up like that. So I can't see if he's about to grab me! But I guess when he goes yokai, he gets his, he gets stamina meter back, so it doesn't matter. I feel like that's more about doing damage. Um, save your yokai form for last half health when he has none or low purple bar. Yeah, it seems like the real money shot is to like get him get him staggered, go yokai, and then do a grapple attack. Dutch who is back during the grab or back off? I mean, that's what I've been trying to do. 
Um, I'm dodging the wrong direction, but he keeps he keeps yanking me. I agree. I would love to be behind him when he when he does that stupid grab. I don't understand why this move is fucking me up so badly. One thing I feel this game actually does as well or better than Souls is punishing the player for slip-ups in combat. The timing windows are a lot tighter. Souls can be pretty loose, because it has to be. Like, there's a million different builds you can roll into a roll into a boss fight with, so they want to they need to make sure it's not just like outrageous for everybody, I feel like. But that makes it a little a little loose sometimes. This is this is pretty dialed in to the Fuck. Ah, whatever. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Cool. Okay, so yeah. You get his you get his like max stamina down to 0 and that's what stuns him. Got it. be so easy see like sometimes people will get fucking like smug about oh i killed that boss on the second try and i'm like yeah in games like this sometimes you do just get a free ride i don't know that that makes you a king gamer i mean it does for me don't get me wrong but like it's totally possible that somebody in this game would have just accidentally done that they're like third attempt and then they'd be like you're like man that first boss took me an hour and a half and they'd be like mm, mm, one of these I did a second try, bro. And you're like, all right, all right, calm down. Oh, a manky. Monk. Monk, huh? I'm <laughs> Oh. It's got to dance around all the loot. Do I have like a a light-hearted buddy? A cool sidekick? Oh. I hope he's wise cracking. I've been issued to you as comic relief. Yeah, I mean, well, there's not a whole lot of levity in this game, so I think it could use a, a goofy wisecrack and sidekick. Are you pretty sure that's Sun Wukong? Oh, that would make sense. Is he mischievous? Man, speaking of doing coke in the bathroom. 
Toshiro got a little juiced before he showed up on set. Oh, Crash, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for gifting five subs. I appreciate that. Yeah, sorry, I can get a little, I can get a little, I can get a little snippy, uh, when, pl when playing the video game, so I apologize. I know that there's a very fine line between, like, helpful advice and backseating, and even I don't know the difference sometimes. Lawrence, call me an ignorant slut. Dipen, you ignorant slut. だけど、Cool. I can do that. I can be me. That's such an anime speech, yeah. Let's achieve our best and fly to the stars. I didn't know I had elf ears. Cool. Oh, Zeki, thank you for the, the prime sub. High stance is big damage, mid is the safest, low is DPS and movement. Okay. Powder Toastman, thanks for the sub. Oh! Oh! I need to have a late title card, like, button that I can hit where explosions and lights and fireworks go off. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that. Yep. Art confirmed. 10 out of 10 game. Mmm. Feels good. Play title card emote <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> i don't even i'm trying to think of how to how to like embody a late title card in an emote but it's a good idea although weeb shit those are pretty good emotes i don't know if you can have shit in an emote it seems to the uh, blah, blah, who cares it seems to continue to increase in yokais due to the ceaseless war and it's not just mino that's falling into ruin Constant battling of the samurai spread as far as Owari and Omi provinces, but hey, this presents the perfect chance for us to make a name for ourselves. With my smarts and your muscle, I'm sure there's nothing we can't overcome together. I'm counting on you, Hitty. Why is my name Hitty? Whatever. Oh, that's neat. I don't know what this is, but I'll... Well, oh, okay. Alright. It becomes one of the special abilities on your yokai. Sure. God. So nearly everything in this game, even the mo the abilities themselves, are randomized gear that can drop. Jeez. <laughs> More buttons, yeah. Hit buttons to get in this mode so you can hit the buttons to use the spell. That's what the purple gauge is for. Got it. Oh, so you can use that even when you're not in yokai shift or whatever? That makes a lot of sense. Right. Got it. Makes a lot of sense. Kind of reminds me of Castlevania a little bit. The, like, DS ones, all the ones where you absorb abilities. And I guess Bloodstained is kind of similar. <laughs> a real tough type to travel with. You're hydrating, bro? Well, I'm, I'm coffee sipping. Which uh, people would say is the opposite of hydrating, but... We blue mage now. Man, maybe I should blue mage a little bit. Should I Should I play Final Fantasy XIV and start becoming a blue mage? I haven't done blue mage at all. That might be fun to do. I'm, 
I don't, the only like Final Fantasy I think I ever blue maged much in was Final Fantasy 7 with the enemy skill materia. Now, uh, today, I mean, it's Weeby Wednesday. If there's any day, today is the day. I mean, actually, I got to take a bit of a break now. I got to, I got to eat a snack. What is Blue Mage? It is the, uh, it's like the enemy copy ability in, in Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy has like jobs and roles that sort of spread across games. I really hate Blue Mage. <laughs> yeah, Blue Mage seems to have a variety of reactions. People seem to either hate it or love it. Or just like think that it's irrelevant and should be removed from the game. So, huh. It's the Kakashi move? Yes. It is the Sharingan, Gun. Uh, for sure. But uh, it's it's snack time. Uh, so I'm going to I'm gonna have a quick snack. I think it's something that's already cooked, so this won't take long. But i got to fill my tummy. And then um, I want to keep playing this. This is really fun, but actually, I think I might, I might, I might take a little, a little Final Fantasy diversion, <gasps> or no, I'm gonna play an even bigger anime. I think. Well, anyway, it'll be an anime surprise when I come back. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> 